Lighting is one of the most important things when it comes to filmmaking, but it can be a bit tricky. Without good lighting, even the best camera in the world won't be able to make your video look good. But with just a few lighting tricks, you can make your video go from this to this. Now, as you can see, it's quite a big difference. So I'm just gonna break down my lighting setup and show you kind of how I like my videos. So if we just zoom out, now you can see my lighting setup. I film right next to a window. If you've seen my video that I posted a couple weeks ago, you would see that I'm going in and out of the sun. That's cause I'm filming right next to a window. But after that video, I decided to put a diffuser in front of the window. And these are just a couple of shower curtains. It doesn't have to be the fanciest thing or the most expensive thing, but just a couple shower curtains really helps to diffuse the light. So there's not this harsh sunlight shining on my face. The second light that I have is my key light. The lights that I'm using, by the way, are the GVM lights. I will leave a link for them in the description below. So my key light is right there and it's right next to the window. The reason why I didn't put my key light on the opposite side is because I didn't want to compete with window light here and then my key light over there. So instead of that, I just put it right next to my window. So it's like kind of building upon this huge light source that's already there. The second light that I have is my fill light. Now this is on the opposite side of the key light, but it's not as bright. It doesn't need to be because it's just to get rid of those harsh shadows that would be on my right side. Now my third light is behind me and this is my backlight. What that does is it's separating me from the background by adding some light to the side of my face and my shoulders. Another great thing that it does is that it makes it look like this backlight, this rim light I have here is actually coming from the lamp in the background. So yeah, let's get back to it. Now, do I like these lights? Well, a light is a light and they're not like on aperture level, but they do get the job done and they're pretty affordable. You can find one of those lights for about, I think $150 on Amazon. I'm not sure, but I'll leave a link in the description below in case you wanted to check it out for yourself. The point of this video was to show you my lighting setup, how I light my videos, and also that good lighting really makes a difference. Oh, and there's also one more thing. I've heard a lot of people say that to have the best quality of video, you need the best camera. And while that's kind of true, but there's actually more to it than just that. If you don't have good lighting and you don't have good audio, the camera really doesn't matter. Your video is not, it's not gonna look good. Filmmaking and storytelling, it all starts right here. And the camera that you're using, it's, it's just a tool to help you make that idea come to life. And if you only worry about having the best camera or the best gear, that's just gonna hold you back and then you'll, you'll end up not creating anything. Or even if you do create something, you might not even like what you're creating. So don't let the need for gear hold you back from creating. But that's all I have for you today. If you've enjoyed this video, learned something new from it, feel free to share support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload filmmaking related content like this every kind of couple weeks. I don't know, my schedule isn't really official yet, but make sure to turn on post notifications so that you won't miss when I will upload. That's it for me. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.